Today, we're gonna talk about heat stroke in chickens and how to prevent it. Let's go. I'm Becky. I used to live in the consumer rat race just like you. But one day, I had enough, so I sold it all, moved to the country, and built my own log cabin with my own two hands. Now, I spend my time discovering new ways to live a simple, healthy lifestyle with more free time and way less stress, then sharing what I've learned with you. Welcome to Becky's Homestead. Chickens can get heat stroke really easy, so you have to make sure that no dogs chase it or no children. Buff Orpingtons are a poofy chicken, and so you have to be careful if you live in a warmer climate or if it is a hot summer day. I want to tell you about the Buff Orpingtons. They're a good, cold, hardy breed, but if you live in a warmer climate or it's a, you know, a hot July, August day, you want to make absolute sure that the children or the dogs don't chase the chicken around. Because when those Buff Orpingtons run, they'll get overheated and then they will have heat stroke and they will just start panting and they won't look good their head will start kind of tipping and it's not rye neck what it is is heat stroke and so you don't really want to get to that point because a lot of times once you're there it's too late so really you want to prevent that from ever happening so make sure if you have little ones you know it is they can't help it you know they might kind of run after the chickens and they'll giggle and carry on but you don't want that to happen if you have buff orpingtons because like i said they're a poofy chicken there which makes them so cute and desirable because they look so poofy and pretty they're very pretty to look at but all that poof makes them susceptible to heat stroke when a chicken gets heat stroke the way to treat it is to quickly get it in the shade or if you could even bring it in the house in the air conditioning or in a fan and fan it, that would be really good for the chicken. This one's molting, so she's not super poofy right now, but um, that is what makes them so pretty is they are big, beautiful, golden, poofy chickens. But again, that does make them susceptible to heat stroke. So be very, very careful if you live in a warm climate or it's in the middle of the summer where you live, July, August, and it's hot. Make sure they have dark, dark shade to live in and also that nothing chases them around and makes them run because then they'll get heat stroke. Remember, your best bet is to prevent heat stroke. That's much easier than treating heat stroke. One thing you can do in the hot months of the summer is get these chicken electrolytes that you can put in the water. Also, make sure your chickens have dark, deep shade in the summer and don't let anything chase them. We have to take care of these delicate little creatures because they're so cute and they lay good, healthy eggs for us and we like them so much. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye. Sign up for Becky's Homestead newsletter. Go to Becky'sHomestead.com and sign up on the right. You'll get articles, news, and specials from Becky every month. Unsubscribe anytime, no spam. If you like this video, click the like button. It really does help us a lot. And if you want to be notified every time we post a new video, click the subscribe button. Are you going to do some shopping on Amazon? Start by going through our link to get there. You don't pay one penny more, but we get a small percentage. The Amazon link is on the top right of Becky'sHomestead.com. Thanks so much.